Weasel Extra, we got a guest in the studio. Not only have you done TV before, but now you're breaking through on the country side of things. We got country newcomer Jana Kramer. Jana Kramer is here, and uh, how old were you when you started singing? I, actually, I started singing when I was three, and then my first gig was when I was a uh, little Miss Peach Blossom. I was six years old, and mm -hmm. I sang Twinkle Twinkle in a rock version. In, and that, yeah. you grew up in where? In I grew Michigan? up in, uh, yeah, Michigan. Wow. Rochester Hills, and then spent a lot of time up in Gaylord, Michigan. Is there a lot of country music there? I think there's more country music than anything else there. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay, so what uh, what got you? What, what got you hooked in country? Uh, honestly, my grandma and my mom. My grandma, uh, all she would listen to is this cassette tape of uh, Patsy Cline. I mean, nonstop. She would flip it over and then flip it back, and then she would just keep playing, and that's all she really listened to. And so then I became a fan. And then, I mean, my mom, she always wanted to be a country singer. Her name was Nora Jean, so she named me Jana Ray. So she's like, Jana Ray, the country singer. And yeah, I'm that like, kind of works, right? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, Mom, we're from Michigan, we're not the South, but it's fine. But uh, yeah, so I mean, she loved country music, and I and I that's all I listened to growing up. So a lot of people probably do you get recognized often for the stuff you've done on One Tree Hill? E yes, the girls recognize me from One Tree Hill, and then the boys usually recognize me from Entourage. So okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. So you've been doing a lot. Ten years in, in Los Angeles. Yep, ten years. And uh, how would you compare Los Angeles to Nashville? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, for starters, the before I even bought my house in Nashville, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm home. The second I landed in Nashville, I was like, something about it, it just feels, just feels right. It's um, it's small enough, but also big enough to, you know, have that country. I mean, the yeah. city feel. So, yeah. and LA was just it was just too crazy for me. The weather is nice, but I love the storms and changes season so do you have a name for the new album not yet okay. but it's coming out early this summer and scott hendricks produced it well who also did blake shelton and i know you film. write do you know how many of the songs you're going to have on it about half and half i wrote half i didn't and you know the best at the end of the day the best song wins so and we want each song to represent you know me and show and the first know. single is why you wanna yes and uh who wrote that uh cat gravit chris DeSeveno, and ashley gorley Okay. Do you ever see yourself getting back into acting? I always said that because everyone's like, okay, so you're quitting acting. I said, no, my my passion and what's most important to me is music. However, if something comes along that can involve my music and that I'm passionate about and it doesn't doesn't um, conflict with any music stuff, I would do it. So, But that's later on. What would be your show business dream? Like, do you have like one either a duet or a, oh, yeah, I or do a, a duet. role or something that you would say? No, no, because I'm not really thinking about that. But the duet, I really want to do a duet with um, Adam Levine. I think that'd be fun. Really? Yeah, it'd be wow. different. Yeah. Now, you have you seen? You watch that show? You watch I do. The I watch the Voice. Yeah. That show. That show. <laughs> um, did you ever gotten into any of the reality stuff at all? I'm a reality junkie. So what's your what's your choice show? Oh, that's so hard because I mean I I love the Kardashians, Chloe and Lamar, <laughs> The Biggest Loser, The Voice, American Idol, X Factor. Uh, I love uh, I like that show, that Pawn show, Pawn Pond Stars. Stars. <laughs> yeah. Now, would you ever could you ever see yourself doing like Dancing with the Stars? Oh, I am a terrible dancer, so I'm just gonna save all those people out there <laughs> to not watch me dance. So, in the video. For why you want it, you are riding a bike, yeah. singing, and it looks like you're in slow motion too. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. How I was mean, that? Well, I mean, they slowed it down on the camera, so the camera speed we weren't going that slow. So, but but so you were singing. That means you probably had to sing faster, right? Yes, which I was not prepared for at all. So we had to sing it like triple time. So I was like, out of all the places in this little town, you had to come. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh! I, I want to see it. the uh, yeah the uh, <laughs> yeah. the DVD. Yeah, the, the outtakes. There was a lot too, especially since it was the hottest day ever recorded in Nashville. It was 114 degrees, so I'm riding like uphill on a bike for three hours. I was like, I'm gonna die. I thought that was a tear. No, those tears of me thinking I'm gonna <laughs> die on my bike. I was like, heat exhaustion. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Times. The video is why you wanna. We got Jana 